Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Happy Valentine's Day. Yes, uh, today is the day of celebrating love. And I love the word celebration of love and being present and gratitude and everything that comes with the emotion and feeling love. So hope, hoping that today you too will find love within yourself so that you can love someone else. You know, one of the beautiful quotes from Rumi is what I just quoted is, I love me so that I can love you. And when you love yourself, then you can love me back. And actually, I did an ad lib of it, but that's the beauty of it. So self-love, self-care, self-empowerment also comes to realizing that when you believe within yourself and you have enough love for yourself, that's when we can, from the overflow of that, when the cup is full, then we can fill other people's cup, right? So hopefully, no matter where you are, you will find a glimpse of this moment to stand and place your hand upon your chest and say, I accept and appreciate myself for who I am, just as I am. Because when we love someone, we love the persona, we love the person, and we may not always like who, what they do or what they say, and we may not always like their attitude or mood or behavior or the things they say to us, and yet the love for the person, which usually is for parents, love for a child or love for a partner that love does not change so i was going to talk about a relationship and how we attract uh, a relationship and love into our life actually if you um, would like to receive a, a beautiful um, audio recording of how to attract love, please let me know. Actually, you can go to my website, healwithin.com, and right there, it's uh, put your email and you will receive this uh, beautiful audio recording called Attract Love. Again, go to healwithin.com, and as you scroll down, it says, here's my gift for you. And when you put your email, you will receive this gift. It's approximately 15 minutes just to relax, listen, and attract love into your life. Um, hi, everyone. It's so good to have you. Uh, do you see this? Isn't that beautiful? That I have this beautiful statue, and it's always sitting next to my flower. And when I look at, look at it, it's like oh, holding heart, holding love, and surround yourself with things that you love, things that open your heart. I have flowers. I have tulips, which is my favorite flower, always in my office. I have the orchids. So when I walk in, I just go in awe of the surroundings that I surround myself with. The office when I walk in, hopefully one day you'll come and visit me in person. I'm in awe of my space. So be in awe of your space, the way you look, the way you are, the way you feel inside. What is it that I say? Whatever it is that you want to become, step into it. Bring that feeling, visualize it, and create it. You can even do a beautiful vision board with all the things you want to create. 
I remember five years ago, I did a vision board. And in that vision board, I placed all the things that I believed in and I wanted to attract in my life. Believe it or not, it didn't even take three years and I had a goal. And with less than three years, I had all of that, every single picture in one form or another became a reality. So vision boards are very powerful. Some do not believe in it, but when you look at it every single day, realize that you are embedding all that visually, and especially if you have words in there, into your subconscious mind. So that's the work that I do. Hypnosis is working, editing everything within your subconscious mind, right? The blueprint of that mind of ours that we want to shift or edit information that it's no longer serving us and incorporate the new information in there. And it can be from pain, anxiety, weight issues, smoking issues, wellness issues, whatever it is, right? And attracting love. So today, you don't have to wait for someone to buy you flowers. Go get your own flowers. If you like chocolate, look at this. I always have chocolate in my drawers. But, right, how do I eat it? I eat one piece at a time, just a small little one. And for me, the pure pleasure comes in savoring the taste. When you savor it, you close your eyes and you, mm, right? <laughs> that in itself is called love. You, we don't have to hoard it. I don't have to have it. This thing, I've had it for approximately a week. So that's what I do. I just enjoy small little pieces and that's what you can do. Um, when you wanna have anything in your life, enjoy it. Take pleasure in it. So when you feel that good, it's the feeling that we must embed into our mind, into our body, and into our heart. So um, a lot of people say, well, how do I attract love? Here's another thing. Saying that I can't find the right person. I can't. There is no such person. You know what? That's such a negative way of thinking and feeling. There are so many good people. There are so many worthy people. But be clear in who you want in your life. Do you want just anybody? So write down, take a piece of paper, write down exactly what type of a person you would be happy with. It's not attracting what you want but who you would be happy with. What kind of a persona do you need in your life that will make you happy? Is it the way he will touch you? Is it the way he whispers? Is it the way he hugs? Uh, would you be okay just to love that person if that person is snoring? Did you know that in New York Times yesterday, there was an article about nowadays the new couples that want to partner with one another rather live together, but in separate rooms. Really? If I love someone and I want to leave my single life and be with that person, I definitely want to also be in the same bed with them. At least in the beginning, I wouldn't choose to, hey, I love you, honey, but you stay in your place, I stay in my place. Yet, everyone is different. I'm not here to say that is wrong. And again, it's like so much. I can talk for hours on this. You come here because you want to have closeness relationship with your loved ones. And here, New York Times says this is the new trend. Well, I hope it is just a fad 
and not the new way of saying, I love you, I want to be close with you, and yet I don't want to be a part of cuddling with you. So how do we attract love? Visualize your ideal soulmate. You can even say the affirmations and what you believe it to be true to accept love and abundance into your life. Uh, love yourself to attract the vibration. We say we vibrate to that level that that person vibrates. So if you love to play tennis, believe it or not, sitting in front of a, um, in front of the TV, watching soap operas or something else is not going to attract it. Go play tennis. And eventually you might meet the person who wants to play tennis with you. So there is a time that they say, watch romantic movies, laugh because laughter also opens your heart chakra. And when you laugh, you also have that vibration in you that joy is within yourself. Everyone is attracted to someone who is more confident, uh, not more confident than themselves, but in a confident, the way you position yourself, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you sit. It's, and even being casual with yourself, just confident who, about who you are, right? And yeah, those are so simple and yet we make it difficult. So I love to hear love stories, how people meet and what about the other person attracted them. And, you know, I've heard so many stories that says I wasn't even looking and love found me. Well, believe it or not, it's being open to be loved and realizing that you are such a lovable person. And that's how we attract it. So no matter where you are in life, may you be so loving to you and lovable to someone else that you find the perfect love vibration into your heart. Start with a plant, you know, the way you speak, the way we are cordial with someone else, the way we present our surroundings and that's it from your bedroom, from your being and even the way you glare and you stare and smile to someone else. All that brings a smile to someone else's face and their lips that wants to kiss you. <laughs> That's it. It's so easy to appreciate and accept and bring that level of joy. And uh, yeah, we don't have always to have red around us, but a simple thing makes you happy when you're happy. What is it that they say? Men, um, if you want a happy life, say yes more and um, yes is a good answer <laughs> happy wife happy partner makes you a happier person that's it and it doesn't matter if it's a man woman friend family siblings or even our pets okay so that's today's um, message appreciate accept and love yourself and may you always be surrounded with love and light from above and from the one that you vibrate and give love to. And until next week, I bid you goodbye. God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.